You're looking a bit orthodox right now. <laughs> Shalom. Okay, I had headphones under this, and I realized I had the hat on. Under this, for the audio, there's a hat. Yeah, I'm wearing my hat that I used to wear all the time on my live streams. And if you don't know what that is, it's a black fedora that I got from L.A. when I used to live there. I know. I'm so worldly. I think it's anyway. cooler than a fedora. What is it? Is it a fedora? I think it would be classified as I a fedora. I think fedora, I think like Jason Mraz, and it's not cool. Uh, maybe this is a female fedora. I don't know. Anyways, I was wearing the hat, and then I realized I needed the headphones for the podcast. So I was like, it's either... Hat, it's either headphones and then hat, like so. Viewer, listeners, if you're listening, go to our YouTube ch- page and check out the video, like so. Or it's hat. She's taking off the headphones. She's putting on the hat. She's trying to put the headphones around the hat. Headphones over hat. But then you look like a flapper girl with the little peak in the front. I feel like Dumbo. Why? Because his ears go like down like this. Uh, I don't know. I feel. Or this is this is even working. I can't even. Yeah, I say just get rid of the headphones because you can hear me and you. I know, but now it's weird because I can't hear us in like studio sound. Yeah. Yeah, it feels. Uh, But that's my experience every week. I know it's your experience every week. But remember why we started the headphones in the first place? Because I wanted this experience. Yay this is more for in my different face than experiences. Normal. Yay for us not being the same on everything. Can we play middleman? We- Roll the intro. Oh. All right. Okay, I got I got a, like a couple things right off the hop. Okay, right off the hop. What are um, we bunnies now? <laughs> one, I'd like to address the tash. Like I just want to get it out there before someone Let's else does. Let's make this clear. Eric's tash, mustache, not mine. Okay, we can start there. Um, I'm, I'm doing it exclusively for the playoffs. I don't... The Leafs playoffs. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this looks That's good on me. the Toronto Maple Leafs. I'm not, you know, a hipster. A team. Or a... I don't know. What, like, what vibe am I giving off right now? Do you feel self-conscious? Why do you feel the need to explain your self-expression? Um, because I, I think people carry themselves in a way that they look in the mirror and think like, I'm okay <laughs> presenting myself like this. So, and I don't want people to think I've made an active decision to look in a mirror and think, I look okay. So when I got to get on Zoom meetings <clears throat> with my hair up in a ponytail, but like that ponytail is not a nice ponytail. It's like a crazy ponytail. And I look so tired, like I haven't slept for the last eight hours. You think that I look presentable and that I look good? When I'm on these meetings, you've because broken the ice, though. It's I presented like, myself. You know, Sunday morning around your family, it's okay if your hair is a mess and whatnot, because y- you know them. Like I this week had to make a couple first impressions on Zoom, looking like I'm in an indie band. <laughs> I'm not a, like, but I have to embrace it because that's what. For those who don't know, in Canada, they're like, I, I'm sure it's in the states for the hockey teams too, but they grow a beard. It's a playoff beard. If you're a player in the NHL during the playoffs, you don't shave. Interesting. But. Doesn't that get sweaty in the mask? Yeah. But they're, yeah. But like. <laughs> yeah. It's like. What about Joe Thornton who already well, has a beard? He's already out here. And then like Mitch Marner can't grow a beard. So it just gets all like little straggly bits. Weird. But Austin Matthews has the mustache. So. Uh, Why is this a tradition? Like does it mean anything? Where did I don't it know. Come I'm from? the wrong person to ask on that one. I just. You just do it. I just know what happens. Like no, like November. Yeah, that's for charity though. But it's like playoff November. Playoff without beards are a thing. good reason. Yeah. No, it's superstition. Interesting. Win the cup. Now, another thing is I had asked. So this is this tash is going to get longer. You're saying? No, I'm it's sticking around. I don't think length is is going to happen. No. No, even if the well, are you like Mitch Marner, you can't grow. Yeah, he, t- you'll see during the playoffs. We'll have to pull out like they'll pull in like a close up camera on Mitch Marner while it grows. Mm-hmm. They do that, but even yeah. if the Leafs make it all the way, like this is pretty much the look. Nice, good look. Um, okay, so that's out there. You're um, still kissable. I also had like I was on the phone with my parents and mm-hmm. I asked them for. For like, oh, do you have any content ideas? We're about to record the podcast. Yeah. Um, And my dad said, oh, oh, I got something you guys can talk about. Oh, your dad always has ideas. Do we ever implement them? Well, I'm implementing this one because 
it's not exactly the tone of the show. Okay. But I wanted to just drop it on you cold to see your reaction. Um, Give it to me. So his exact words were, um, parents that smoke weed and their kids don't. Yeah. What's the deal with that? What's the deal with it? I don't know. It's just that's They're not. They're still their own individual person. But it's it's weird, right? Like it's it's. I don't think it's unusual weird. because normally that's like the dynamic is reversed, right? Like the kids do are trying you, to be rebellious. Do you and all mean that. like in front of the kids or like hiding it from the kids? No, like I don't know. You got all like the parents now are on like the CBD. Do you think your dad is asking that because? He like is trying to tell you that he is smoking cannabis. No, well, it, it's legal in Canada. He's looking into all the CBD stuff because like that's good for like relaxation and whatnot. Yeah. Not smoking it because that's the harmful part. But the mm. the like is it harmful? What I, are the studies? And anything that's not oxygen in your lungs is not meant to be there. I see. Okay, that's but, a fair argument. But yeah, so that's but, where he's coming from. Um. I don't think it's weird, and I think it's more common than you think. It's just a weird angle for the show, too. Like, I don't know. We don't we don't normally talk about. Oh, but why not? I don't know. We we did talk about parenting before. This is parenting. Parents. It involves <clears throat> parents, so it involves parenting. Yeah, but it's from the other way. What do you mean? Like, is isn't this kind of our perspective? Because but isn't taking your son to the bar instead of a Christmas parade the same thing as? Secretly smoking weed. Show your work. I don't. They're both substance, ab- not abuse. They're both substance use. What we- what makes weed worse than alcohol? Alcohol still is a detriment to your body. Plus, weed is legal in Canada, so you can't say it's illegal. Well, it's, the legality is not. It's what's the issue then? Well, there's no issue. It's just sort of like the sentiment around it. What's the sentiment? It's it's what kids do to be edgy, not the parents. The parents tell them don't do it. The parents want to take an edge off. Your parents told you not to do it. My parents told me not to do it. I don't understand what you're saying now. I'm saying it's like a, re- I'm saying it's not a teen all, rebellion not thing. All. Normally the midlife crisis thing is buy a motorcycle and drive <laughs> off into the... I understand what you're saying, but that's because we are... We were raised like this. Do you know what I mean? Like our parents weren't weed smokers. So they raised us to stay away from weed. But had our parents been weed lovers, hippies, then we wouldn't be raised with this ideology (laughs) that we shouldn't be passing that on to the next generation that we create. Do you know what I mean? Like... I think we can still have our own beliefs on this. And I I think that in excess, which everything in excess, excess is not good. But I think that like, one, it's legal. Two, it's, it's not as harmful as smoking. Like it doesn't have the same harmful properties. And if it's <laughs> not done in excess, I don't think it's bad to like secretly do if you have children or even openly do. I I mean, the secondhand smoke thing, you know, but like, I don't know. Unexpected twist. (laughs) I just, I don't personally do it. Doesn't mean that I haven't done it. So whether my parents did it or not, didn't have an effect on me, my brother or my sister. Like, we all probably did it responsibly. I don't know my brother. Because <laughs> we saw him during lockdown. But, I don't know. I got a little too personal. I don't even know if my mom knows that I've tried it before. It's just a wild but I was twist dating on the a question. stoner, so. I know, but that's that's the whole point I'm saying. Is that, what? well, no. It's neither here nor there. Okay. Anyways, what is your stance on that? Well, that's the part I was trying to, you know, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. Kind oh, of thing. oh, okay. So, he, so yeah, you don't approve if I start to smoke weed in front of our children no. or secretly. If I, we have I children. mean, if you want to put it like predominantly, yeah. our reference point is like high school, university. That's when. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So the 
the weird, I don't know why the hell we're talking about this. Welcome to this week's (laughs) podcast. Um, The weird thing I find with it is like people who drink lots of alcohol are like alcoholics. And that's like a sad thing. And like, they're like, you pity them. Right. But I don't know. It's like, there's always like a pocket of kids in school who like have nothing or they feel weird and that's like their identity becomes the fact that they smoke too much like weed. Yeah, I get it. So then that like, I don't know, it's just weird when that's like something that defines you when if we're talking about substance abuse, like someone who drinks too much alcohol is, is a person who has a problem. Yeah, I get, I get what you're saying. I think it's so like, like we it's so weird because we all have our own beliefs somehow i guess like apart from our like nurturing in our home environment we somehow create our beliefs through like movies and tv shows that we decide to watch or podcasts that we decide to listen to news we consume and like when we go to school the people that we see and hang out with and are gravitate towards so like it's just I was going to make the point of that, like, even if the parents are a certain type of way, you never know, like, necessarily how, like, the kids' beliefs are going to be morphed. Because let's say a parent is uh, an alcoholic, right? Mm -hmm. They could also be an alcoholic. They could hate alcohol, never drink a day in their life, be repulsed by it. They could responsibly drink it like you really there are so many outcomes for the way that uh a a kid can turn out turn out depending on their parents behaviors that said i don't think that like one we don't like do anything in excess except for like maybe overthink or overwork (laughs) but like i just don't think like doing something in excess is ever a good um like is ever model behavior so i don't think that just raise your kids responsibly basically do you know what i mean whether like you drink alcohol in moderation or don't drink alcohol at all if you start to force an ideology upon your kids i think that's when they're more likely to swing just out of spite do you know what i mean yeah because it's like it's like the people who try to throw religion down your throat like even if you are Christian, you don't want to hear somebody keep haggling you about Christianity. Well, and I I guess that's kind of what I'm like, I guess that's kind of what I'm saying is like, I don't, I don't understand what's missing in someone's life when they think that their identity is that they listen to Afro man and whatnot. Like it just. It it maybe not be a missing thing. Maybe it's an inclusion thing. Maybe that's the only crowd that makes them feel welcome. Maybe it's a. Right, but isn't that weird? No, I don't think so, because everybody wants to fit in. If the only crowd that you fit in with... You feel accepted by. I know, but if it was because of a bottle instead of a joint, then it's like, you got problems. Yeah, I I understand. I understand what you're saying. Um, I think people still think that, like, stoners have problems. I don't think everybody thinks it's cool or everybody thinks it's not cool do you know what i mean like i think there's varying degrees i do see the bias in alcohol mm-hmm. um i only say that because that's yeah. i mean the example right like oh it's legal it's a substance so yeah is alcohol. yeah yeah no totally i get it yeah anything else that your dad wants us to talk about did we cover that for him text in text in <laughs> i'm really warm <laughs> i'm so hot guys I don't know if you guys remember. I don't even... I think we t- we had to have talked about this on the podcast at some point. But when we were living at my mom's and there was no air conditioning, like it was broken and we had to go to Eric's parents' house to live there because there was air conditioning and I was begging him to go there because I was so hot. It feels that way right now. Like every room is so hot. Why isn't the air conditioning on? So the sun faces through our window through the afternoon when it's at its hottest. So we have to remember to close those blinds over. Okay, but into the living what room. What about the AC request? Well, I, I the you would have put on AC today. Yes, the windows, the breeze. I want to wear a sweater. 
The, there's no breeze. You know I opened the freaking door in the kitchen, the balcony door while I was doing the dishes. We're going to have to and move And there was zero breeze. Desk. There was zero breeze. We can't breeze. share the office. Why can't we share the office? Breeze. I do. If you're just going to have a fan, I'm telling you I do. I can't Listen live with to that. me. <laughs> I'm telling you I want a breeze. But I'm telling you today there was no breeze. I know, but you're fine with a, uh, a fan is uh, it's an annoying uh, Do you it's know an annoying what's, sound. Do you know what's even more annoying? You complaining. Overheating. I know. Feeling miserable. So you and That's your fan, way worse. You and your fan in the other room. No, you and your fanny in the other room. <laughs> you like that one, don't you? <laughs> okay. Don't tell me there's something in my teeth. Were you going to tell me that? No, why? Oh, because I could just like look at, see the look on your face. I thought we had some type of telepathy going on. Oh, we don't? Okay. So my sister sent me a Starbucks gift card in my email. On Friday and today or yesterday, I woke up and checked my emails and I just automatically deleted the Starbucks email out of impulse, like thinking it was just a promotional email. I have so many questions. And my sister, I was on the phone with her today and she was like, did you get my email on Saturday? And I was like, no, I only have one email from Saturday. She's like, it's not from me. I'm like, oh, was this you? She was like, no. And then I was like, okay. She's like, oh, wait, I sent it on Friday at 8 p.m. So I look at all my Friday emails, nothing. I'm, she's like, it's not from my email. I'm like, I get it. But literally, are you medium or my work asking for my timesheet? Because other than that, I have no other request or email. And she was like, oh, my God. So she forwarded me the email that she sent me from a Starbucks account. You know, Starbucks sent me the email. And it was like, um, here's a next Starbucks on your sista. Because we say sissy or sista. Okay. Anyways. So anyways, and I was like, oh my God, I deleted a Starbucks email like yesterday or like, today. With, with a gift card, with money. Yeah, I told her, I was like, I deleted a Starbucks email recently. She's like, go check in your trash. I'm like, my, my deleted emails go somewhere? I didn't know that. I thought they just disappear yeah, they, i don't know why they go into i guess for situations like so this. anyways i went into the trash and lo and behold her starbucks gift card was there anyways it was so nice of her to send me it's gonna be us a starbucks Ooh. gift card and on the on the gift card it said you are you're my hero how cute is that why don't you send me starbucks gift cards that say i'm your hero okay can i ask mm-hmm if your instinct is to automatically delete an email, unsubscribe. Why are you not unsubscribing Listen. from the list? Conspiracy. You've spent more time swiping to delete emails. Listen to me right now. Open one, scroll the Guys, bottom, unsubscribe. Done. Tell me if you think this way as well. Have you ever unsubscribed from an email and you still get emails from that company? Because me, yes, I've gotten emails after unsubscribing. They have different lists. So was it take me out if I unsubscribe? Like if you I don't... unsubscribe from one of the alerts, you might not unsubscribe from all of so them. So I'm supposed to unsubscribe from every single email that I get after that? Well, no. Give it a couple days to get out of the, their system. Literally, <sighs> I'm, I'm just swiping I delete. Know, and it, we can actually put a dollar value on how much that costs. <laughs> Twenty five dollars. Evidence. <laughs> Thanks, sister. Anyways, you wanted to talk about something else. You had something else to talk about. Um, oh, I'm writing in a journal. Yeah, you can go there. I'm trying to. Like, I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it, but I have this really big Bible journal. Can you go get it? What do you mean by Bible journal? Go get it. It's bigger than a Bible, actually. Oh. And for the longest time, I didn't know what to write in it. So I was just Ow. rewriting my poems that like I had already published because I knew they were finished. Even though sometimes I want to go back after writing these poems and change a couple things, but I don't. So anyways, I have this, look at this thick book. Listeners, if you're not watching, go watch the YouTube. If you can't, that's fine. It's, it's just this really big book. I don't, it doesn't have a page count, but it's a journal. And it says, dream a little bigger, darling. And I didn't know what to put in it. So, yeah, like I said, I put poems in it. But then the other day I was like, I really had something to write about. Because I had this, 
like cool ish interaction or notable memorable interaction with this guy in a wheelchair um we were wheelchair buddies because i was also in a wheelchair when i went to the hospital on friday for a ct scan for my ankle and i was reading on saturday morning out on the balcony and i kept thinking about the conversation that we had and I just really needed to write it down because maybe someday, maybe I want to write it in medium, in a medium story, or maybe I want to write it in my book or something like that. So I just really had to write this down. And then I was like, wow, that's kind of therapeutic. Let me write about the whole day. So I wrote about the whole day. And then the next day I'm like, okay, I'm going to try and do that again. So why I say, I don't know if I'm doing this right is because I've been writing these journal entries a day later, but I can never remember what happened the day before like it's not like every entry is not like wheelchair guy notable do you know what i mean but but when do you write though i i try to write every morning the no, next like what's day what's the alternative because then you have to pick every a night time of day yes but okay relevant example yeah tiago was given the man of the match because they give it around 90 and then allison goes and scores the winner in 95 they gave it too early how do you know when your day is because done. Because when I'm about to go to sleep. Aren't you too tired to write something meaningful? Sometimes. But if I want to be a writer with a fat journal to look back on of all my documentations, then I got to stick to it. So it's you like, could write every night at like nine. Don't you brush your teeth every morning? Even if you're tired and don't want to? Right. But like, what if something amazing happens after you've written are you gonna go back in or is it that's i'll it? just write it in the morning okay okay Ooh, okay <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i i i need to catch up because i need to write yesterday's i haven't written that yet oh, and then i'm gonna you write can't fall behind i know and then i'm gonna write today's like when i go to bed but i'm super hot i don't know what to do i'm miserable i need popsicles can we go out for popsicles the waveform keeps making things that look like a fish skeleton, and I'm enjoying it. It's like tail thing. Also, I don't know if the fan of the laptop is going to get in this again. I know. We say this every week, though, and I feel like we haven't heard complaints. So That's true. Yeah. But people like us. Maybe they're just, they do hear it, and they just don't say anything. Um, Why don't you take a cold shower instead? Okay. I want to dye my hair pink. Two birds, one I stone. I actually do need to take a cold shower for the pink hair dye because it sticks better in your hair. There you go. Guys, text. Oh, no. My hair will already be dyed by the time you listen to this. Basically, I'm either going pastel pink again, like keeping it the way my hair is now, or I'm going super bright pink. And I got this super bright pink dye, but you can dilute it with white conditioner. And I've put a poll on my Instagram. Oh, so you're not sure. It's not like you don't know how it's going to turn out. No, no, I'm not sure <laughs> if I should dilute it right. or if I should keep it pink, pink. What's your, what's your thingy, your vote? See, look, keep it pastel pink or dye it pink, pink. How long does it stay? I don't know if you can see that, but it's on my so. Instagram story. I don't know how long it stays. This one is obviously going to be a little bit more permanent, the pink, pink. Yeah. Um, and it will fade if I, if I don't re-up it often after some washes, it will fade to a lighter pink. So like, do I get best of both worlds with that option mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. do I keep it the light pink? Like, would you want to see me in the pink, pink, the hot pink? Look, see, these are the colors. Well, I figured you're going to try it eventually. So just why not tonight? Have you, have you had your light pink experience I Will think, you go back? Okay, so... What if you get hooked? I, this is the thing. I don't think I'm blonde enough. Like, I need to be platinum blonde everywhere. Like, my hair needs to be white as a base. Oh. To, like... No, to get the the pastel pink no, right. Know. So do the dark you know? pink until you get another blonde. So that's the thing. What if the dark pink doesn't fade enough that Kim cannot bleach over that color well how what is this i thought this isn't like the same thing where it's like 12 washes and you're, you're good but because it's a darker color like red is bad because it barely comes out of your hair because it's just such a sticky dye so i'm like, not equipped to answer this question for i know you. i think i should just go for it like fudge it fuck it if i have to Wild. <laughs> if i have to shave my head or cut it really short my hair like 
whatever. It'll grow back. You'll be fine with that, right? No. What do you mean, no? You're not going to look like Eleven out of Stranger Things and have me be okay with that. Why not? It's only going to be for a short period of time. I don't know. I think you'd be an aggressive bald. What does that even mean? I think I think your hair is very tied to your personality, and you'd be an aggressive bald. So you're saying that if I become bald, I'll be aggressive? Yeah, like like you'd be like, I don't know, like more fiery or something. So don't you want that in me? A more spicy Evie? No, I don't know. I just feel like you'd like get angry at little things. But like if you can't open a jar or something, you just like smash it on the because table. Because my hair is bald. Yeah. It, it, my head is bald. Yeah. You know, like. I could bring out the wigs. That's another angle. But you have to be okay with it. If my hair messes up and I have no option. I think let's just play the safe option then. What's the safe option? One that isn't you voluntarily shaving your head. That's a long way back. What do you mean? Well, I'll you... have healthy hair. You could see my natural color. I think it's a great idea. I, you know, there's... I've been on the verge of shaving my head multiple times throughout my life. Well, there is like an unspoken agreement that, you, you know, you, I. Do I break up with you because of your dumb tash or because you won't grow your hair out and you have short hair? <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. Wow. What's next? What's the question of the week? <clears throat> Are we there? Yeah. Okay. Well, what's happening to our computer? It's freaking out. I um, <clears throat> I saw a good question of the week, but I'm going to have to modify it. Okay. So the, Oh, we didn't talk about the Allison header. I mentioned it. Yeah. Go on, Guys, go on, go did on, you go see on, the Liverpool on. game against Man... Nope. Against... West Bromwich Albion Baggies. <laughs> um, Lord be thy shepherd and shepherd be thy Lord. Well done. Anyways, um, Liverpool played a team. West Brom. West Brom. Uh, what day was it? Sunday. Sunday this past week. And it was 1-1. Mm. Okay, tied game. There was overtime. Five... Five stoppage time. Stoppage time. Stop time. Yeah, five minutes, and there was this corner, and it was like the end of the game. Like Eric was yelling at the players to hurry up and take the corner before the ref calls the game one-one. And we need a win because a win will give us hope still for the Champions League because we need to win every game going forward. Pretty succinct. So this is a bottom feeder team. They are like getting demoted. They are like thirteenth place or something like that. So. Why the hell is it 1-1? We don't know. But anyways, last corner of the game. And Eric's yelling at the screen for them to take it quickly. They go to take the corner. And the goalie, our goalie, Allison Becker, the Brazilian goalie, um, he comes up for the corner because it's the last play of the game. So if nothing happens, or why not get all the players, rather, shooting the ball in the net for this corner, right? And Eric's like, bring Allison up. So then we see next frame is Allison running up to the goal. And I'm like, okay, I want to see an Allison goal. Like, how sick would it be for a goalie to score a goal? What happened to our camera? And then Allison comes up. The corner is taken. And the goalie heads the ball into the net. So it's literally the last minute, the last play of the game. And the goalie scored a goal to never win the game. A goalie, our goalie, Liverpool. has never scored He's a goal. Never been a Liverpool goalkeeper like, score a goal. It was already like a an insane Headed game winner. because like the other team ended up scoring on us, and that goal was taken back. So it it was still one one. Like we had a roller coaster of emotions, being like, "Shit!" They because they scored the first goal really early on in the game, and we're like, "Oh, we lost it," and then we got it back. And then they scored again, and we're like, oh, there it goes our hopes and dreams. But then that was taken back by the VAR cameras and the referees. Um, and then in the last, and then, and then, you know, by five minutes, 
four and a half minutes after stoppage time, you don't expect them to score a goal. You want them to score a goal, but you don't expect it. You don't ever see it coming. And we're like, where there goes our hopes and dreams. We tied. Like, what? there's never going to be a scenario where we are moving on to the Champions League. And then Allison, the goalie, who you bring up just to have another body there. You know, you don't expect the goalie to score a goal. It feels so sacrilege, like a goalie scoring on the thing that he protects. No way. So anyways, Allison heads the ball into the net and everyone's screaming because one, our hopes and dreams are still alive and the goalie scored the goal. You'll Nuts. you'll never forget that. Like no. if it's a cup final, like you win a trophy, that's always like a memorable thing. That but, but this is just a random game. Yes, but also he's the first. You always remember the first, the first person to the moon, the first and person to he's, fly. Like you don't ever get a situation where a goalkeeper scores a winner, because yeah. normally they only send the goalkeeper up to like get an equalizer. If yeah. if the game's one one, you'll just take the draw because it's not worth the risk of them running down the other end and getting an empty net winner. Right, right, right. So it's it's the the amount of things that had to happen. It was literally the happen. most amazing thing ever. Eric and I had the celebration of a lifetime as I, if we had just like won the lottery or I something. I barely remember. I just like when stuff like that happens, I just remember pictures. Like yeah. I remember him heading the ball. I remember a picture of the ball in the back of the net. And then I just remember like we were just like flat Sprawled out on the couch. Sprawled across the couch like me on top of you hugging each other, like bouncing up and down. Like it was the craziest thing ever. Anyways, what's the question of the week? Oh, right. Um, okay, so th- the question I'd, I'd, I'd heard was... I'd heard. I'd seen. Okay. It was in a show. Okay. Anyways. Um, like, I don't want to... What is like, that? Sh- it's the blinds. Oh. Um, I thought something was typing. The question is, is camping okay? What do you mean, is camping okay? Now, it's like, is it is it not worth the effort? But, but, oh. but, if I recall correctly, you have not camped. I've not camped properly. So what I've are you in, looking forward to most? I've camped in my backyard and my mom scared the shit out of me. That's funny. And my cousins. Um, I also like have been to a cottage multiple times. Like I know it's <clears throat> not camping. We're talking camping. a tent here. Yeah, I know. And I know. also if, if you have a light, if you can turn a light on and off, it does not count. Okay. So a cottage is definitely not camping. Okay. Um, when you camp, what is the experience that you're most looking forward to? Um, because I think you don't have many. I I'm looking forward to everything except for the bathroom situation and um the middle of the night when I don't know what the hell is out there because it's pitch black, like, like a moose or a bear or a person. <laughs> what if a person is just in the woods looking to massacre a couple of campers? Campers are campers are so relaxed. No, you know what? Haven't you heard the term "happy camper"? No, I think the only time I'll ever go camping is for a, a music festival. That's I'm sorry. The, no, 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 no. That's the worst camping. No, but listen, that's I, the worst. Camping. I don't think I will survive through the night. You've because be in the woods. there are bears and unknown things and unknown people. And I am not ready to die to camp. I that's an experience I that I will forego. I do not care about that having that experience. I think you do. I I you want can to live off of the earth. Ha, I I get it. Make a little fire. I do. Cook a little. Scram. Okay, how about a, a camping in a gated forest? Is that okay? Like glamping? Like not. We got like a TV it doesn't in have there? to be glamping, but they know that it's a safe environment. They know that no animals or serial killers will be roaming about. In Canada, there's a lot of national parks. I think if there's one thing I'm afraid of, it might have to be camping. Really? Like I'm not really that afraid of that much, but I am afraid of camping unless it's not just you and me. Like unless we go there's with a like a of crew people. of people. If we go, with, that's why I'm saying music festival is fine because there's a bunch of people. But yes, if I I was camping with like, you know, class of 
2011 or 2015 or whatever the hell we graduated. I don't know if I'd like that. I would rather like a group of people. Than, yeah. Like it can't even just be you, me, Sarah, and Paul. It has to be more than that. It has to be like 10 people at I least. I think you've got to, con- you need to go in a way that people are like, the more people, the more chance you have of people are just going to like mess around and like ruin the whole experience. Yeah, I get like, the messing Like they'll bring around. some battery powered, like, I don't know. Like they'll just like cheat. You got to have like that rugged middle of the woods experience. I don't know if I'm the right girl for you if you want to have this experience. You don't dance, I don't camp. It's it's fine. I have two camping stories that are quick. <laughs> okay. That will I I mean, look, you got to feel alive in your life, right? Okay, yes. One time I, I went camping. Plane. It was with like a school trip okay. and we, we walked into the middle of wherever and we set up the tents ourselves and the next day we had like a fire on the other side of the island. Okay. There's like a body of water. Are you playing survivor between. here or something? No, it was like I don't know. You just go on a camp when you're at school, right? Okay. And anyways, the while we were on the like having that fire across the bay, there was wolves at the campsite that we were at the night before, just howling away. Second thing, yes. I went and like in the like north of Canada tent overnight next day while we were packing up a bear walked through the campsite next to us are you serious yeah i don't i i know have you seen a person get mauled by a bear before? but this is to say i survived both yeah well maybe i'm not so lucky you do have horseshoes how many horseshoes you got left up your butt <laughs> all right we will see you guys next week or be in your ears next week thanks for listening wait 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 wait. i've got a clap because the camera okay clap we're gonna end on the clap okay well you can't press until after they're gonna leave on the clap i know i know i know